Hey, what's up, Jojo in the morning? I will tell you, I am looking for a very specific group of people today. I am looking for some people who are ready to get out of complacency. They're ready to get out of the mundane. They're tired of just setting on their prophetic words and they are ready to absolutely move forward and accomplish everything God has for them. Is that you that I'm talking to? Hey, before we start, we're, we're at our, I'm in my church foyer. Look, my wife got this new pumpkin pillow. Don't be like a pumpkin and just sit around. Come on, man. We got to do stuff. I'm going to tell you where a lot of your success is hidden behind. Obstacles. Laziness. No, I didn't call you lazy. Don't get offended at me. I'm just saying the obstacle is the way. People tell me all the time, oh man, I just got so much going on in my life. Don't we all? Don't we all? Don't we all? Don't we all have a lot going on in our life? What time do you get up? Oh man, you know, well, that alarm comes out, hit it, and it goes off that second time I hit it. Listen to me. If you hit your alarm one time, one time, something's up. I set my alarm every day, and I'm going to say maybe one out of 10 days, I even hear the alarm go off. I'm usually up, turn the alarm off 20, 30 minutes, an hour before the alarm goes off because I'm so excited to start my day because I know I got so much great greatness ahead of me for that day. It's going to be a good day. I'm going to encourage somebody. Somebody's going to encourage me. I'm going to bless somebody. Somebody's going to bless me. I'm going to do a great video. It's going to just change somebody's life. I'm going to watch somebody's YouTube video that's going to radically change my life. Listen, I give and I receive. I give and I receive. I'm going to talk to one of my friends. Oh, it's going to be good. My wife and I are going to fall more in love with one another I'm going to have some cool moments with my kids. It may be watching them play a sport or it may be us just talking or whatever it may be. But I, I just love life. But what I've learned to do is tackle my obstacles. The obstacles, the way. Things that I don't want to do, I do. You know, like everybody, I used to sleep in some years ago. But then I learned to get up early in the morning and do you know what's cool about it? When I get up and, and I'm in prayer at five o'clock, not that many people are trying to get my time at five o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. People want to talk to me when it's convenient for them. You get up 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, you spend some time in prayer, your mind is a level going into your day. The people that are always hitting the alarms, oh, they're, they're running around rampant all day. I go into my day smooth. Why? Because I have spent time with the Lord. I prayed. I've got my mindset. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know where my appointments are throughout the day. Like later today, I got a coffee date with my wife. Oh, yeah. I know, I know what I'm doing for the whole day. I, I got my appointments set up. I got my extra prayer time set up. I got my work stuff for our health coaching set up. I got my YouTube stuff set up. I've already got it lined out throughout the whole day. Now, if you just go at the day and just try to just vigilante, just going for it, it's not going to work. The obstacle is the way. So every day... And every week, I plan out my big stuff. Like, I had to do some tax stuff this week. I don't like doing tax stuff. But I had to plan a time to get some stuff done. I had to plan some time to, to put some things in orders. I had to, to get one of our cars, like the oil change. I had to plan that. And different times throughout the week, I plan big things. You, you have to understand the obstacle is the way. The very thing that you don't want to do could be the very thing that is gonna open things up. I remember about five years ago, I used to say, I will never, ever, ever have a church. Never have a church. Never wanna have my own church. None of that stuff. I don't wanna oversee a church. I absolutely love Roar Church Texarkana. And I tell you, 
Our services have been off the chart. Unbelievable power and presence of God. The prophetic's flowing. Woo! Signs, wonders, and miracles. Love it. About three, three and a half years ago, I said, I, I don't want a YouTube. I don't want a YouTube. I don't want to do that. I just don't want to do it. I love doing social media videos for YouTube and Facebook and Rumble. I love doing that stuff. Then I remember I said, I, I, don't, I don't want a health coach. I don't know anything about health coaching. We absolutely love it. We got 280 coaches and thousands of monthly clients. I call them family members in our organization. But there are things that I said I didn't want to do in the natural. But when I did them, those are the three things that we do now. Church, health coaching, and YouTube. Social media stuff. The obstacles of the way. Sometimes the things that you want, don't want to do in the natural, God is preparing you to do. I remember a few years back, I got asked to go preach at this, this, this church. I didn't want to go. I just, I just didn't want to go. It, it, was a, it was a good church, good people. I just didn't know if they were like, they got down like me or not. Um, big old church. And I went. Man, I love this. It's one of my favorite churches I've ever preached in in my life. But I felt the Lord say, go do it. There was a program that I didn't want to do one time. I, said, I don't want to do this program with this guy. It led to so much, but I didn't want to do it. A lot of people say, man, I, I, don't, want to, I don't want to get healthy. I don't want to get up early in the morning and pray. I don't want to dive into my word. I don't want to look back at all those prophetic words because, oh gosh, if I look at all those prophetic words, all these feelings are going to start swirling around yeah, and you may hit your destiny. You may live a better life if you go through those prophetic words. Man, I go through my prophetic words and I remind God just in case he forgot. Just, you know, I know he probably don't forget, but I remind him. I'm like, remember when you gave me this word? Two things. Don't you forget, Lord. Don't you forget. And help me get in the right place to be able to steward these words. The obstacle is the way. The obstacle is the way. You, you, gotta, you gotta do a lot of things that you don't wanna do to get to the place. You know, there's a lot of things I said I didn't wanna do and they have led me to the place that I am today. Now I get to live the life that I wanna live because of the goodness of God and the power of my yes. Someone asked me one time, they said, hey, Jojo, man, what's your superpower? I said, I can say yes. I can say yes. Yeah, you just gotta keep it going. You gotta keep on keeping on. You gotta say yes to God. One time uh, I was just praying, just had a good time with the Lord. And the Lord said, there's two things about you and these two things are why I really can use you mightily. And I was like, oh, yes, Lord. What are the two things? Boy, I was, I was ready. I had my cap down tight. I was ready to hear these great things. I felt the Lord said, you say yes and you heal quick. What? I say yes and I heal quick. Hmm. So to get where you need to go in life, number one, you gotta be able to say yes to God. Actually, my wife always says this. God, you have my yes before you even ask the question. Number two, I heal quickly. To do anything great with your life, you will be hurt. You will go through things. Pastor John Kilpatrick said one time, you, you will never step fully into your destiny until you fought the spirit of Jezebel numerous times. You've had your Judases and you've had your Absaloms. Then and only then will you be able to advance and do what you're called to do. That doesn't sound real exciting to me, but boy, I've fought that Jezebel spirit so many times. I've had so many Judases. I've had so many Absaloms. 
And then if you go to a church that sings hymns, you got those old saints will sing that old hymn, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Every time I fought the spirit of Jezebel, every time I had a Judas, every time I had an Absalom, I became stronger. Go figure. Are you willing to do the hard thing? Are you willing to go through what you need to go through to do what you need to do? To become who God's called you to become. I know Jojo in the morning, people always like, man, you're so encouraging. I'm encouraging you to go through what you need to go through to get to where you need to get to. You got to. I love you guys. And if you're going through anything right now, I want to pray for you. Go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button. You hit that button. Send me a prayer request. I want to pray for you. Love you guys. And I hope you have a great day. We serve a great God who has great things in store for you. Be encouraged.